and I'm a, a little bit sweaty. Also, it's like almost four o'clock. My deodorant gave out at like one. Hi, I'm Burke Collins. And I'm Sarah Drasner. And this is five view libraries that will melt your face off. Thing number one is a library called Viewlidate. And you might be able to guess that it's for validation. Yeah, it's for form validation. Uh, it was made by Montreal, uh, which is the group of people who made ViewConf, the first one in Poland. And it's really, really nice. It gives you all of these uh, really flexible solutions for all kinds of different dynamic forms, which Vue is really good for forms in general. And so this kind of takes it to the next level and allows you to do perform form validation very quickly. And that's pretty much all we do as web developers, right? Is we just make forms. Just building forms over and over yeah. again. And nobody ever built a form and then was like, that was awesome. I can't wait to build another form. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's terrible. So Vue-Lidate makes that easier. Thing number two is a library called Beautify, and Beautify, I believe, is a UI type library? Yeah, kind of like a play on words for Beautify. It's a oh, material yeah. UI library, so it does a lot of the things that Bootstrap did, but it works off of the kind of Google material design, but also adds in a different kind of flavor, so it has all of these animations. It also has a lot of accessibility features, so it's a really heavily worked on and really well supported by the community library that I like using. Yeah, it looks really Really nice. I took a look at it. I noticed that there's a, a grid system in there. Mm -hmm. There's some components. It's material design, like you said. I noticed that some of the components are chips, breadcrumbs, snack bars. <laughs> like, what is it with material design and food? <laughs> Apparently, there's a lot of food named components in there. Uh, but it looks like a really cool library. Also, like you said, ripples and stuff for material design. So definitely check out Beautify, mm -hmm. a really cool UI library if you're working with Vue. Thing number three, there is a library called View Test Utils, and I've used my superior intellect to determine that's probably for testing. <laughs> yes, it is for testing. It's a ut testing utility library. It's by Ed Yerberg, who's really awesome, and he gives talks about testing and actually wrote a whole book about view testing in specific. So um, that library is fantastic, and his talks and book are as well. So if you're into testing or you just need to learn it in order to get your job done, that's you a good test one. That. Now, I've never actually never done testing. I'm, I wish that was a joke. It's not. I've only been through the <laughs> tutorials, but I've never actually written tests for an actual application. Don't be like me. Test your code. There was a review on his book that was like, this makes the second most boring thing in Vue really interesting. And I was like, what is the first most boring thing? Nobody wants to know. <laughs> There's sweat rolling down my back. I can feel it right now. <laughs> on my spine. I don't have any sweat because I'm wearing maxi pads <laughs> under shirt. my arms. <laughs> I want maxi pads under my arms. Maybe I'll just like get some and put them in my shirt. Oh, but... you put one on your head. <laughs> <laughs> to soak up all the nasty oil. Make sure we get all of this in the episode. <laughs> Thing number four, a library called View Apollo. So what is View Apollo? View Apollo is a great library by Guillaume Chow, who's on the View core team. Um, it is basically what you'd think it is. It's a GraphQL uh, ah, integration GraphQL. with View. And he does a lot of work on it. It's very well maintained. And he's, you know, it's a really great library. Somebody once said that GraphQL is just soap for hipsters. It used to be, but now it's really <laughs> pervasive. Like everyone is ditching rest for GraphQL. It's yeah, it just seems really all neat. Over the place. And, you know, so I think soap was a good idea, and GraphQL sort of just took all the good ideas from soap <laughs> and like, repackaged it. And now everybody's like, oh, that is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I actually did some Googling before this episode, and I Googled soap XML. Uh -huh. And the first result is a Reddit post that says, soap can go die in a fire. Is really? the, that is the first result that you get back. Well, it's good that they're looking at both sides of that issue. Yeah, that, that, that's true. <laughs> Fortunately, GraphQL has nothing to do with XML. <laughs> so that's Vue Apollo, and you should check that out, especially if you're doing GraphQL, yeah. which is cool, and you probably should be. Thing number five is a library from a guy named Eric Elliott, who you might have seen that name before if you've ever been on the site Medium. Yeah. Uh, he writes a lot of blog posts, and they're excellent. 
and he wrote a, a library called CUID. Yeah, CUID is not necessarily a view library, but it is really useful for view applications. So a lot of times when we use v4 loops, we have to have these things called keys. And the key, and this is also something that is in React as right. well. So we need the keys kind of help uh, determine what is changing and what's not changing when we're doing DOM diffing. And if you're creating a large application with a lot of dynamic or generative keys for elements or components, uh, sometimes you'll run into a problem where a couple of things are not unique. A couple of things are repeated. And what CUID does is it allows you to attach something that's definitely unique and thumbprinted in a way that you can create these things with keys and know that every single one of them will be OK. To so be completely certain. Because yeah. if you did something like concatenate a first and that last name, like if you have two Sam Smiths, right, exactly. it's all over. Totally. And you probably have two Sam Smiths, if not 100. Right. So CUID. CUID. Is that an, an acronym for something? Like if I put it all together, CUID? No, nope, it's just CUID. <laughs> CUID for unique IDs for your key fields in Vue. That's right. I'm Brett Collins. And I'm Sarah Drasner. And that's five view libraries that will melt your face off.